what's up guys welcome back to another episode thank you so much for clicking on on this video i am stoked about this spot you guys saw this spot in the last video and i'm finally in here um, about three days later to do some hunting i am in love with this spot right now just because of the views and everything this place is going to be stinking awesome now if you guys want to pick up some 4b merch and help support the channel and help continue to bring these videos that you guys love seeing so much go down there and help support the channel and pick up a hat pick up uh, some bait pick up some decals pick up a shirt or two and i would greatly appreciate that i'm very thankful for each and every one of you right now let's see if we can't stick a hog i am <laughs> i'm kind of on cloud nine right now because i've been waiting to hunt this spot since the last time i hunted it and there's a pretty big boar that's rolling through with a group in here and i hope that they can get around me and get in here without winding me and we can make this happen these pigs <laughs> i mean have absolutely just been wearing this uh, corn out right here and now that i have 100 percent access to this spot for pigs and for deer i must set a feeder up in here and we'll have a feeder right here at the same spot and it'll be a stellar of a, of a spot um, right there to my corn that I'm, I'm where I'm looking right now is about 19 yards so it's gonna be you know, easy poke and the other the other reason why I'm so excited is because we're running the new VXR tonight I am <laughs> I got it set up yesterday and I finished sighting it in today and so I'm good I've shot freaking darts out to 60 yards with this thing and I'm in love with it shooting 28 and a half inch draw uh, maxed out at 75 pounds and I have a feeling that if that big boar rolls in this evening even with a two inch mechanical we are gonna punch right through that dude and on top of that I'm shooting about a 503 to 504 grain arrow so there's just a little bit of a heads up on what uh, my setup is and I have recently switched releases to it's still a thumb release but it's just a different brand um, I was kind of getting worried about my old red one and that you guys have seen for years and so I finally made it a little bit of an upgrade and switched and we'll see how it does tonight I'm loving it so far but the wind isn't exactly perfect the way that I would like for it to be or want for it to be but I think it's going to be good enough that we can stick a pig one last thing then I'll shut up and we'll get to it um, I came down here threw some corn on the ground and I was going to check that trail camera, but I didn't want to stomp through there any more than what I already did. So I just backed out and climbed in. But I hope that about 7.30 or so, they'll be here. Maybe a little earlier, maybe 7.15, who knows. But it's a, do a little time check for you guys. It's 6.39, so I'm thinking sometime in the next hour or so, we'll have some pigs here. So I had to finish putting some tree steps in in this tree and finish setting up because it was just a stand that's all it was I had to put some steps in so let's rock and roll and punch a hole in a pig
we just smoked our first hog with the VXR. I haven't had it set up, but for, I don't know, a full 24 hours, and we just smacked a hog. Uh, whenever they ran off, I could tell he was perfectly heart shot, which is what I was wanting, but they, they took off running, and there's a little one to the left, or the one on the left. He was just kind of hanging around, and I thought he might come back in, so I knocked another arrow, and he kind of disappeared, and I couldn't really see very well because it's so dark out here now. And then there was the big boar that I was talking about. I fully expected him to come in and be in pretty quick. And I listened and I listened and I listened. And I was like, man, I can't hear any other pigs except for these two that are right here in front of me. So I shoot and they run off. And then I guess about five minutes goes by. And I hear the big one come in. And as he's headed in, he starts growling and throwing a fit and what happened was he walked up on the pig that I just shot so one that I just hit went about 15 yards at most and he caught wind it or walked right up on the one that's laying there with my arrow in him and I was like dang it but it's all right if I'd been a little bit more patient then I wouldn't have had any more camera light so it's uh 907 right now they came in super oops I forgot I'm supposed to be holding light on my face <laughs> it's 907 right now they came in super late and I was kind of disappointed. I was thinking that they were going to be here about 7.30, so I'd have really good camera light, and I would have enough time to wait for the big one. But it just didn't work out that way. So with all that said, I mean, at least I've got some good news. We've got a pig on the ground, so I'm not complaining. I'm going to go check this truck camera and see what it's been showing, get some intel off of it, and then we're going to go find our pig. Well, I apologize for the terrible lighting, but... All I've got to work with right at the moment. We're on the ground and we're gonna go find our pig. Let's start about 20 yards away and see if we can't find any sort of blood trail. Our first little bit right there. Let's see more. Hello. Oh, sweet. I got, I found my second arrow from my last trip out here. Cool, I'll take it. Some real good stuff. Oh yeah, this ought to be easy enough. <laughs> oh man. Snap my arrow. At least I got my knot back. But it's still in good shape too. Yeah. Yep. Sweet. Scared the fire out of me. <laughs> Little boar. Sweet. Might have been a touch far forward, but uh, right there. And smoked him. Heart shot. Probably about, I don't know, 75 pounds or so. Decent little boar. Well, I apologize for the Polaris noise in the background, but let's take a better look at this guy. There's my exit. Uh, like I said, real, real little bitty thing, probably about 75 pounds or so. Um, what's funny to me is you see that line right there. In my last video, I was explaining how and why I chose this spot and the reasons for it. And if you look at that line on the back of that pig, it shows you that he's been in that creek right over there and wallowing in, in the mud and staying cool in the water. So um, there's a there's an example. <laughs> it's uh, one of the reasons why I chose this spot. There's water nearby. So it, uh, it worked out. I'm going to get this pig drug out of here and then I'll close this video out for you guys. Man, I honestly, um, I was starting to think there for a minute that I wasn't going to get to shoot a hog this evening. <laughs> and hey it worked out and this boar right here is actually quite a bit bigger than i originally anticipated um looking at him on the hoof i was like yeah he's about the same size as one of those ones that i uh, 
got in that same spot a couple weeks ago but uh and he's actually quite a bit bigger probably got an extra 20 or 30 pounds on those pigs so super fortunate and thank the lord for another safe hunt and for blessing us this evening with some swine <laughs> these guys have been wreaking 100 percent complete havoc on the back end of this property over here and this is the third one in about two weeks that i've gotten back here i really do enjoy these hog hunts i hope that you guys do as well actually it's probably my uh, my favorite video to film for all of y'all and it was so much fun to do it with the vxr i got the vxr the matthews vxr in ambush green and man i've shot it probably 40 50 shots to it in the last two days and I, man it's just been great i'm um, shooting 75 pounds of 500 grain arrow um, shot that hog right through both shoulders i mean literally i put it on the bone on purpose because i wanted to see um, how it was going to perform and as you can tell it punched out there on the other side on the opposite side shoulder there and hey that's what i'm looking for <laughs> i can take down anything in north america with this bow and that arrow setup right there and i have complete 100 percent confidence in it may need a broadhead change but uh it can be done guys be sure that you're subscribed to the channel thank you so much for watching i appreciate each and every one of you share this video if you enjoyed it share it to your family and share it to your friends share it to your social media tag me and uh, I appreciate that very much, guys. I want this channel to keep growing and keep bringing the awesome content that y'all love to watch. And yeah, we're gonna take some pictures. It's starting to get late. We're gonna get out of here and we're gonna try to do it again one day this week. But you guys know that I will always have a video for you. I love you, you're awesome, and I'll see you in just a couple days.